Take him. Well, why do they call it shiplap? Well, Garrett, once upon a time, they used to build ships, and the hull of the ship had tongue and groove boards to help keep the water out. Oh, uh, so now we're putting it in our houses? Very nautical. I had no idea it was nautical. <laughs> Not with the term ship lap? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> anyway, we put it all over our walls, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? Great. That's what we do here every week. This week, we're up to here <laughs> with the ship lap. We see it on Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, ads, TV, model homes. It's everywhere. So we decided to do a ship lap studio makeover. So we recently moved our studio from the dining room which was the first room you saw when you walked in the house. And the first room you saw as you're walking by the house. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> to up here in this room above the garage. And so now we get the opportunity to make over our wall. <laughs> we ran to Lowe's and we grabbed eight sheets of five millimeter plywood and some inch and three quarter brad nails. Step one, make all your cuts. We made all of our cuts. We ripped those sheets of plywood down to seven and seven eighths. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, babe, get out of the way. <laughs> so we accounted for a one eighth inch for the blade and we were able to get six exact cuts out of each board. So we have 48 strips very flimsy, very floppy. Mm. I think it can fly. Anyway. Step two, paint the edges of the board. So we've done a lot of research on how to do your DIY shiplap and a couple of recommendations that I see everywhere. You should paint the inside edges of these boards so once they're stacked, it's really hard to paint after the fact. So we're gonna paint those first. They also suggest that you paint the wall first and the same color that you're going to paint the boards. But Garrett thinks he's got a better idea and we don't need to do that. So we will see how that works out. Oh yeah, I end. think I got a time saver. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> Find your studs. Oh. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> All right, we're gonna mark our studs on the wall and he's gonna use this to draw a line. Step four, nail it to the wall. All right, so our wall has an arch ceiling. So we're gonna start from where the focal point will be and work our way down and then work our way up so that there's no funny cuts right there. Where are No funny land. business. No, no funny, funny business cuts, right there. <laughs> no funny business. <laughs> All serious business. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Board number one down. Board number two, we're using two quarters as spacers. I got a little jingle in my pocket. Oh, I'm doing jingling alone. <laughs> a little change in my pocket. Oh, that's what it is, a little change in my pocket. Going jingling alone. Thank you. 
Step five. We're gonna fill all the nail holes. We recruited some help. Step six, paint the walls. Our installation is complete, wood filler is dry. Next step, we're gonna try our new paint sprayer. So we got this Graco True Coat 3, 360. 360. <laughs> and we're gonna see how it does. This is Garrett's trick for not having to paint the wall first. Yeah, it was a sprayer. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. I'll try it over here. All right, the ship lap is up. I feel like I'm in the inside of a ship's hull. Very, very comforting. All right, it was pretty easy, pretty quick. I'm really surprised that the Ryobi nailer, the battery, lasted the entire wall and ceiling. And then the sprayer. Um, I was surprised that was pretty easy to get going and uh, pretty easy to use. It did get sloppy. Yes. Like, it's it was very fast and efficient. Yes. But it might take a little practice. We might have had some overspray here and there trying to keep up with each other, but it did a great job painting. Yeah, it got, it got in between the boards just like I was hoping. <laughs> yes, his little trick. Remember in the beginning I said Garrett had a trick? It worked. The spray paint did get in there, in the grooves. And I can tell you that it's really important that you either use the spray paint method or paint that wall first because yeah you can clearly see that the wall is white behind it. And if it isn't, you would know that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, we're gonna throw our stuff back on it and it'll look awesome by next video. Good job, babe. Good job. <laughs>